Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Melting Math. In this video, we are going to discuss about health and hygiene, which is in the 6th standard new syllabus term 1 uh, science book and it's a unit 6. Okay, first we are going to see about health. Okay, health is nothing but our body needs sufficient amount of energy from food, water, work, exercise, rest and also the sleep too. Okay, so if it maintains, if it remains appropriate means it will leads to good health. Okay, if it remains inappropriate means it leads to the bad health. Okay, these uh, food, water, sleep, exercise must for every human being. So if it remains sufficient for a person means that person should be in good health. If it remains less or low amount means it will lead to the bad health. Okay, that's it. Next we are going to see about hygiene. Okay, cleanliness of our body and our surroundings is called the hygiene okay let's see some of the hygienes uh, such as uh, brushing your uh, teeth uh, bathing daily and washing clothes uh, cleaning the floor these all things will keep you away from the disease and it also stops the spreading of a disease so, so hygiene is a very important thing to you and your family to keep away from the disease okay next these are health and hygiene are related to each other okay if you maintain your surroundings hygiene then it will gives you a healthy environment or a healthy body it means that hygiene will provides you from diseases and makes your body healthy okay that's it now See here, while eating, we notice that we are eating more amount of rice and wheat when compared to oil and ghee. Why do it so? Can you have any idea? Because our body needs more amount of energy. So we can get that energy from wheat and rice. That's why we are eating more amount of rice and wheat. But in case of oil and ghee, our body itself needs a small quantity. If we, if we consume more amount of oil and ghee, it leads us to cardiac disease and the heart attack or otherwise uh, when we eat a more amount of uh, food, rice and the wheat it gives a more amount of energy but in case of oil and the ghee when we eat the small when we consume the small amount of uh, oil and the ghee it gives us the large amount of energy that is uh, another reason too okay next we are going to see about an activity. See here. Um, read the following food items and classify the following table. Here they gave some food items that are brinjal, chocolate, ladies finger, french fries, grains, orange, goa, spinach, moringa leaves, gooseberries, burger, pearl millet, Okay, that's it. Now we are going to separate food which I like to eat, food which I don't like to eat and food which I have never seen before from this given food items. Okay, let's uh, uh, differentiate it. First food I like to eat is uh, uh, what uh, uh, brinjal, orange, goa, gooseberries, uh, ladies finger, grinds, moringa leaves, spinach, these are the foods I like to eat because these all things are very healthy to our body and it gives more energy and healthy uh, strength to our body, okay. Next food I don't like to eat is uh, chocolate and a burger. Uh, most of them like uh, chocolates but it's not uh, good for health, okay. Next uh, food which I never seen before so french fries and pearl millet uh, french fries is nothing but uh, some uh, potato chips i didn't see it okay next uh, pearl millet 
பேல் மில்லட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் வி கால் இட் ஆஸ் முத்து சோளம் இன் தமிழ் ஓகே தட்ஸ் இட் ஸோ தே ஆஸ்க் கொஸ்டின் ஷூ ஆஸ் டூ யுவர் ஃபேவரட் ஃபுட் மேக் யூ ஹெல்த்தி எஸ் மை ஃபேவரட் ஃபுட்ஸ் ஆர் மேக்ஸ் மீ ஹெல்த்தி ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் டூ யூ சூஸ் யுவர் ஃபுட் பை டேஸ்ட் ஆர் பை இட்ஸ் நியூட்ரி நியூட்ரியன்ட் வேல்யூ டெஃபினெட்லி ஐ சூஸ் மை ஃபுட் பை இட்ஸ் நியூட்ரி நியூட்ரியன்ட் வேல்யூ ஓன்லி ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் காம்போனன்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் தேர் ஆர் சிக்ஸ் காம்போனன்ட்ஸ் ப்ரசன்ட் இன் அவர் பாடி தேர் ஆர் கார்போஹைட்ரேட் ப்ரோட்டீன்ஸ் ஃபேட்ஸ் விட்டமின்ஸ் மினரல்ஸ் அண்ட் வாட்டர் தீஸ் ஆர் கெமிக்கல் கான்ஸ்டியூண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் கான்ஸ்டியூண்ட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் த காம்பினேஷன் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் த காம்பினேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் chemical combination of food which gives us energy and it helps to build our body and it also protect us from the disease so we call this component as a nutrients okay so uh, let's see what are the components what are the food items present in this component of food okay first see about carbohydrates carbohydrates are rich in maize nuts lentils here lentils is nothing but uh, we called it as pachapayar in tamil okay uh, rice and fruits okay next proteins are rich in chicken soya bean nuts and grains next fat or rich in fish egg yolk egg yolk is nothing but the yellow part of a egg okay and meat meat is nothing but uh, the flesh of uh, domestic animals like uh, chicken sheep like that next milk ghee these are the fat rich food items next vitamins are rich in fruits vegetables and grains next minerals are rich in uh, minerals are rich in uh, spinach egg fruits fish milk and water are rich in drinking water and juices okay these are the food items present in the component of food okay next there are uh, these are the nutrition present in the component of food and next we are going to see about the activity it's activity 2 uh, collect as many food items as you can and classify them according to the major nutrient content in it okay let's see about it so food item and the and its major nutrients okay first brinjal its major nutrient is uh, vitamins and minerals next egg its major vitamins also vitamin and minerals next orange its major nutrient is vitamin and minerals next sugar its major nutrient is carbohydrate next apple its major nutrient is vitamin and carbohydrate next protein its uh, next potato its major nutrient is vitamin and carbohydrate next fruit juice its major nutrient is vitamin and water next fish its major nutrient is fat and minerals next uh, fruit grains its major nutrient is vitamin and fat next meat it major nutrient is vitamin and fat okay these are the um, Uh, food items and their major nutritions according to your activity 2 okay next uh, uh, let's briefly discuss about the component of food that is the nutrients first briefly discuss about the carbohydrate carbohydrate or energy giving component of the food i already told we are consuming more amount of uh, what uh, rice and the wheat in the rice and wheat carbohydrate is present more in the rice and wheat okay let's see about uh, the form of a carbohydrate and their sources sugar is a form of carbohydrate we can get it from fruits honey can sugar beet can can sugar and sugar beet okay sugar beet is nothing but we call it as a chakravalli kalangi in tamil okay next uh, starch is a form of carbohydrate we can get it from rice wheat maize potato etc okay next one is a uh, 
dietary fiber uh, we can get it from whole grains nuts etc so uh, we can get the carbohydrate in the form of sugar starch and dietary fibers only okay next we are going to discuss about fat fat is also an energy giving food it not only gives energy to us but it also insulates our body and protect our body cells okay let's see some important sources of fats that are uh, that are butter ghee milk cheese paneer nuts meat fish egg yolk etc okay next we are going to see about protein protein is the most important nutrients because because it helps to build our body muscles and bones okay when you see the body builders definitely they must intake more proteins to build their body muscles and bones okay so proteins are necessary for our growth for human growth or for any other organ also animals also okay it also does protein also does some body functions like digestion okay let's see the source of proteins that are pulses eggs fish milk chicken soya bean nuts grains etc these are the protein rich food items next we are going to see about vitamins okay vitamins plays a major role in our body it carries out various biochemical reaction these biochemical reaction is are the clear vision strong teeth strong bone active body blood blood circulation these all come under this biochemical reaction so these are depends on the six vitamins so there are six major vitamins are there in this vitamin such as vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k and here vitamin b and c are water soluble and vitamin a d e and k are fat soluble let's briefly discuss about these vitamins first see about vitamin a <coughs> vitamin a which found mostly in fish oil egg milk ghee carrot corn yellow fruits and greens okay greens is nothing but the green leaves as well okay if this vitamin a present less amount in your body means what will happen it cause a night blindness it cause a disease called night blindness okay the symptom of night blindness are poor vision you can't uh, see the object in a clear form so that's why we are mentioning here poor vision difficulty in seeing the dim lights i already mentioned next see about vitamin b vitamin b is found mostly in whole grains uh, unpolished rice milk fish meat peas lentils green vegetables okay in this vitamin b present in this vitamin b present lower amount in your body means what will happen it cause the disease name beriberi the symptoms of beriberi are nervous weakness nervous weakness means when you a person is in nervous weakness means you can see its hands and legs are shaking shaking okay that's the ner nervous weakness and fatigue is for nothing but the big person a fatty person belly person okay next see about vitamin c vitamin c which is found mostly in orange um, gooseberries green chili tomato okay uh, if a vitamin c presents lower amount in your body means what will happen it causes the disease name is scurvy the symptoms of this scurvy is bleeding gums okay <coughs> bleeding gums okay next we are going to see about vitamin d vitamin d found mostly in fish oil milk and eggs if it also obtained from the sunlight 
it also obtained from the sunlight through our body okay in this vitamin d presence lower amount in your body means what will happen it causes the disease name rickets the symptoms of rickets are weak and flexible bones in your body okay next vitamin e which is found mostly in vegetables green vegetables and vegetables oils and whole wheat mango apple and greens if this vitamin e presence lower amount in your body means what will happen it cause it cause the disease name nervous weakness and dim 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 of your eye eyesight okay dim of your eyesight okay the symptoms of this disease is uh, child illness and lack of uh, resistance power to illness okay that's it next we are going to see about vitamin k which is found mostly in green veg green vegetables uh, tomato cabbage egg and milk uh, milk products health and uh, okay egg and milk products if this vitamin k presence lower amount in your body means what will happen it cause the disease name weakness of bones health okay and health uh, the symptoms of this uh, disease is uh, what even small bleeds ah uh, even small cut bleeds profusely when you cut a small amount in your hand means the bloods can stop it it flows uh, continuously in your body so that they are mentioning here okay next that's it next a medical camp was uh, see here just think they mentioned uh, they gave some uh, questions they ask some question as to solve this okay first year a medical camp was conducted in school most of the children were healthy some of the students had some health issues okay what are the issues let's see priya had bleeding gums raju could not see clearly in dim light arjun had bent legs okay can you guess what could be the reason they asked us to find the problem of these three children okay first see uh, priya had bleeding gums here bleeding gums is a symptom of what is a symptom of scurvy we already discussed it is a symptom of scurvy disease here scurvy is a vitamin c deficiency we already discussed it so here the priya is suffering from the vitamin c deficiency okay next see raju could not see clearly in dim light yeah, it is a symptom of what it is a symptom of a not night blindness so here night blindness is a vitamin a deficiency so raju is suffering from the vitamin a deficiency okay next um uh, who arun arun had bent legs uh, the weak bent legs the weak and flexible bones so arun had bent legs this bent leg is nothing but the weak and flexible bones these weak and flexible bones are the symptoms of rickets so he is affected by the vitamin d deficiency okay we already discussed this deficiency and uh uh we already discussed what are the uh, types of major uh, types of the vitamins and uh, if that vitamins will loss in your body means it cause a disease uh, like uh, scurvy or uh, a night blindness or rickets like that we already discussed it that's that's they are asking here okay that's it next we are going to discuss about minerals minerals are required for growth and also the regulation of normal body functions okay minerals are a productive food the source of minerals are uh spinach pulses egg milk and fruits now we are going to see about minerals and their functions first calcium it is a mineral it functions or strong bones and teeth and clotting of 
blood next phosphorus is also a mineral it functions or a strong bones and teeth next iodine it also the mineral its functions are synthesis of thyroid thyroid hormone next iron is also the mineral its functions are formation of hemoglobin and brain development next that's it next final one is water in the component of food okay let's see about water our body needs continuous supply of water at a regular interval to maintain the good health okay so all of us should drink 2 liter or 8 tumbler of water per day to keep our body healthy okay uh, let's complete uh, this table they gave on a table to complete us see the first they gave a nutrients source uh, nutrients and their sources and their functions first uh, carbohydrate they gave its source is rice wheat and potato we know it next what is the function of this carbohydrate what is the function it gives us the energy okay next nutrient is fats um, uh, what is the sources of fats we already discussed it no what is the force of, of fats there is nothing but fish egg yolk and ghee and meat okay its function we already know it gives us energy next uh, see about a protein nutrient its uh, source is water chicken its source is chicken soya beans and nuts its function is what it promotes grow, growth and maintain our body tissues okay next is a vitamin source of vitamin you know fruits uh, vegetables grains meat and uh, dairy products is nothing but the milk products okay uh, it's a source and its function is uh, maintaining healthy body tissues okay next uh, final one is a uh, mineral uh, the source of minerals are what meat and source of minerals are nothing but sorry, sorry the source of minerals are pulses egg milk fruits um, and leafy vegetables okay and its functions are a regulation of growth and normal body functions of human being okay that's it we completed it next we are going to see about health and nutrients before that uh, before that look at this picture and make a tick for a healthy person and make cross for unhealthy person in this first picture uh, he looks very angry so he is in in unhealthy condition so mark crash to this picture next picture they look very happy so they are in good health then mark tick to this picture next uh, she looks she had a fever so she is in unhealthy condition then make cross in this picture and next they are looking very active and they are playing together very happily so they are in good health then mark tick to this picture in the final picture uh, this guy looks very dull so he is in unhealthy condition then mark cross to this picture okay first see about her health health is a state of complete physical mental and social well-being here physical is nothing but our body mental is our mind state and social well-being is nothing but how we are interacting with our surroundings like how we are interacting with our friends and family that's it comes under the social well-being okay good health is not is not only the person who don't have any disease it also includes eating a healthy food uh, or a diet that keeps you physically and mentally fit okay when you are physically healthy means you automatically feels good and 
interact with your friend and families in an active manner okay but when you eat a unhealthy food it leads you to obesity and illness it makes you inactive with your friends and family okay choose your diet or a food carefully because that only helps you to uh, be a active person in your class and your uh, surroundings okay next we are going to see about balanced diet i already told our body needs sufficient amount of energy so we have to eat all necessary nutrients in a limited manner okay if you eat more means it cause obesity if you eat less means it also cause the disease so you have to eat all the nutrients in the balanced manner that's why they mentioned here the balanced diet okay let's see what will happen if you miss your balanced diet means it will cause the malnutrients okay malnutrients is nothing but the person who is not having the necessary nutrients in their body okay it's called as a malnutrients malnutrients let's see about malnutrients malnutrients leads to deficiency disease the disease that are caused due to lack of nutrients in the diet or your food are called the deficiency disease okay let's see the deficiency disease of protein and the minerals first see protein there are two deficiency disease are there in the protein uh, when the protein is less in your body when you lack the protein in your body means it cause two disease that's namely quashiacre and marasmus the symptom of quashiacre is a stunted growth a swelling of face and limbs and diarrhea and the symptoms of marasmus is skinny appearance slow body growth okay next see about uh, minerals okay uh, there are uh, uh, we know there are uh, four minerals are there first if you lost uh, yeah, calcium in your body means uh, it uh, cause rickets that means a bone weakness when you lost a phosphorus in your body means it cause osteomalalia and when you lost iodine in your body means it cause cristinism for a child and goiter for a adult that similarly when you lost iron in your body means it cause anemia it's a blood deficiency disease okay that's it next we are going to see about the physical exercise and rest these two are very important for your physical and mental state respectively okay first see about physical exercise playing games exercise sports dance yoga um uh, these are the physical exercise this helps to helps you to living actively in your society okay active living these are the physical quantity which helps you to keep your body fit and healthy okay next see about a rest rest is very important all of us must have the deep sleep at a night to keep our physical and mental state healthy okay that's the rest rest is more important when you take a rest in a sufficient time that's only keeps you active in a day okay that helps you to uh, read the book or uh, uh, play in the ground actively okay next uh, we are going to see about hygiene i already mentioned hygiene is nothing but the cleanliness of your body and your surroundings or a living place such as uh, brushing your teeth uh bathing daily washing clothes daily cleaning the floor frequently these are the things will keep you away from the disease and it also stops the spreading of a disease okay i already mentioned it next they gave one table 
uh, let's see about this table here they gave uh, some uh, hygiene and their recommended free recommendations they gave some hygiene and their recommendation okay uh, first see about uh, eye hygiene uh, we have to wash the, our eye daily every morning and whenever the face is dirty okay next hair hygiene is nothing but we have to wash our hair weekly twice preferably once every other day next one is a body hygiene we have to clean our body once or twice a day next is a oral hygiene we have to brush twice a day or rinse after each meal for for a good and a healthy teeth okay next feet hygiene we have to clean our feet at every day okay next is a hand hygiene yeah, we have to wash our hand every time after touching contaminated surfaces and every time before eating and touching clean surfaces okay next is a cloth hygiene is nothing but we have to wash our cloth once or twice a day okay these all hygienes are highly recommended by our government also because now we are um, in the situation of coronavirus so these all hygienes must have to follow uh, in our day to day life okay if you didn't clean your body means what will happen microbes will affect your body parts and organs okay let's see about microbes microbes is nothing but the microorganisms with which cannot be visible to our eye we can see it through only the microscope okay most of the microbes belongs to four major groups such as bacteria virus protozoa fungi okay if you didn't wash your clothes or your uh, if you didn't clean your uh, bathroom or if you didn't wash your hands before eating means these four things will affect your body and will cause the sick to your body okay when you neglect these personal hygiene means what happen you are in the risk of affecting the microbes microbes is nothing but what this only bacteria virus protozoa fungi okay let us name some of the disease which is caused by this microbes due to what neglecting the personal hygiene personal hygiene is what uh, washing our clothes uh, washing our hands uh, or washing our body or uh, uh, teething our what uh, uh, brushing our teeth this all comes under the personal hygiene okay and uh, uh, frequently cleaning your floor home is also comes under the personal hygiene okay let's see some of the disease which is caused by the microbes by the by neglecting the personal hygiene that are diarrhea tooth decay and athlete's food foot athlete's food dandruff that's it okay let's discuss about bacteria bacteria are very small prokaryotic microorganisms here prokaryotic is nothing but the cell which is not having the nucleus okay bacteria is a unicellular organism in the earlier uh, unit we discussed unicellular and multicellular organisms so here bacteria is a unicellular organism okay bacteria spread in our tissues and they prot they produce pus or a harmful waste in our body okay let's see some of the bacterial disease and their mode of transmission mode of transmission is nothing but in which way it's uh, comes to our body and affect our body that's they are mentioning here mode of transmission okay so first is a chloria it's uh, chloria is a bacterial disease here uh, they mentioned five bacterial disease so that's uh, chloria pneumonia tuberculosis uh, tetanus 
thyroid these are the bacterial diseases first see the mode of transmission of chloria that's a contaminated water if you drink that contaminated water means bacteria affect your body okay that's your mention here mode of transmission next one is a pneumonia it's a mode of transition is in inhabitation of a uh, arrow bones droplets from a sneeze or a cough okay it uh, comes through the sneeze and cough of the aerobron droplets and next one is a tuberculosis is its a mode of transmission is the inhabitation of aerobron droplets from the sneeze or a uh, cough it's similar to pneumonia only next one is a uh, tetanus is a uh, mode of transmission is a contaminating of uh, wounds wounds is nothing but our uh, um what i say wounds is nothing but our uh, uh, wounds with the uh, bacteria when we have a bones wounds in your hand or a uh, leg means uh, it's easy to spread the bacterial disease in the two wounds and the uh, scratches okay wound is nothing but uh, scratches in your body okay next uh, Final one is a typhoid. Typhoid is a mode of transmission. Is a contaminated food or water. If you eat the contaminated food or water, it will affect. It will cause that typhoid. It's a bacterial disease. Okay. Next, discuss about virus. Okay. Virus is an acellular agent, which means virus is not a cell, and that replicates only inside the cells of other living organisms first see about uh, first clear about virus is affecting the living organisms only okay uh, suppose uh, when a virus is in your hands means it's in a inactive condition suppose uh, it uh, goes inside your body through mouth or a nose it gets active with your cell okay with your body cell it gets active with your body cells and it will grab your body cells what a virus will grab your body cells and make that cells to form a multiple cell in your body and when that uh, virus use your body cells to multiple to develop means uh, then they kill our body cells so this makes our body unhealthy and make you sick okay so these are the what uh, action of a virus when the virus is in your hand or in your place means it's in inactive condition but when you but when that virus will goes inside your body through a mouse uh, nose or a mouth means it grab your body cells and it adapt to your body and it cause uh, it damage our body cells and that cause a fever or other uh, cold cough to our body or other illness okay let's see some disease caused by virus First, uh, already mentioned common cold, another one, uh, hepatitis, influenza, smallpox, chickenpox, polio, measles. These are the diseases which is caused by the virus. Okay, that's it. Here, the what we discussed here is uh, uh, in this unit is nothing but the f health and the hygiene for a good health we have to maintain the good hygiene in our surroundings okay that's it uh, in our upcoming videos we can see the uh, book bag that's the evaluation question with answers of uh, health and hygiene okay thank you uh, subscribe to our channel melting math and don't forget to press the bell icon